another thing it would be you know quite interesting to touch on because i know that a lot of people starting out and i was exactly the same you will have the odd very awkward tenant uh, as a as a guest <laughs> and omar had one quite early on didn't you i think it was literally one of your very first um uh clients in the swindon one wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah. correct you want to just give a little bit of background and yeah how without how without, without right. giving it, sorry yeah without giving it too much uh, but yeah it was i think the second the very very second or third guest we we had since we took the property and um I think there was a few points that they gave us a feedback and I, I really welcomed that and I was really grateful. We were appreciating it. Emma was always in the loop because I kept Emma and, uh, uh, updated. But it kind of started turning a bit, a little bit, I would say, unfriendly uh, and also with the wrong motive. You know, one of those guests whereby they keep coming to you uh, with issues. Some of them are genuine, some of them, some of them are not so. And then you realize it's not really that they want an improvement or they want something changed. They start throwing that word, you know, reimbursement. Um, <laughs> when you start questioning their motives, you know, it's like, okay, is, is, the, you know, is, is this the reason that you really want to get some money back? Um, how genuine is this? And then it's a matter of trying to kind of also act professionally while being firm but also you don't let not to let someone take advantage of you know the fact that you're running this as a business uh but it was great to to kind of exchange with emma on this one um but just, to, yeah. just to sort of jump in there like um just to imagine because i felt your you know having been there before i felt your pain so it was quite a long booking wasn't it was it nearly a month's booking it was, it was a month's booking yeah so it was a month's booking um they they, they came through airbnb and um and, yeah. and pretty much if i just remember it so it was like a month's booking they came in they made a few complaints um i think there was uh, something wasn't working and there was something in the oven that could have been cleaner but you know as as this can happen to all of us you immediately jumped on it and you know you were doing exactly the right thing it was it was all really fine but then again they started threatening basically didn't they he did. in an indirect way <laughs> That he wanted his money back and of course when you're new into service accommodation you think you're sitting there looking at the money that's coming in because obviously it's a rent to rent and you also need to pay your rent and your bills and all of those things and you'd like to make some money Absolutely. and so you felt quite under pressure and yeah i felt really happy to be able to give you that support to say you know what you have offered a really good service you know, yes, there was a couple of things that were, you know, not up to what he wanted, but they were still fine. And you immediately went and rectified them, but he was still carrying on. And I think you had, if I'm right, uh, a conversation which basically said something along the lines of, you know, I've, I've, I've heard you, I've done absolutely everything that you wanted me to do very quickly. But if my standards are not good enough for you, you're more than willing to go and find a property elsewhere and he already had a pretty good deal with you didn't he um and then and then kind of what happened there because suddenly you rather than being in the seat where you were kind of like oh i'll help you i'll help you you know i'll do everything which is what we feel like sometimes it's like i don't want to lose a month's booking you suddenly mm -hmm. Uh, turned it around to just being very professional, very business-like, and you're not going to be messed around by somebody who's just trying to get some more money off. So how did that feel kind of turning that on its head? Yeah, it, it felt great, actually. I, I, at some point, I was thinking, well, if this is the main, the actual nature of service accommodation, is this going to be this much this much of a stress? So, I mean, I'm an ex-humanitarian. I was in a conflict zone. <laughs> And I was like, okay, this is, this is not exactly beach. this is not exactly beach and cocktails, right? Uh, but I think one thing that really works in our favor, and that's again thanks to um, my previous knowledge, but also thanks to really your hands-on support, was to act immediately, and I think to keep up open communication. Because actually, when they left the review at the end, one of the positive points that uh, they left in the review was the communication was always open and prompt. Um, and this is something that it's really important value for myself, you know, with the guest communication. But it was if you look at the text messages and the messages that have been sent, if you look at half the first half, the nature of them is ex like extremely like unfriendly. They weren't like abusive or anything, but just 
a bit you know hostile but then since that conversation the ultimate conversation we had it was like look this is what we've done you know everything that you've raised like at 9 p.m in the evening they raised something and then the following day on a saturday at nine in the morning i sent the cleaners again so that's i mean you can't really you can't really beat that right um and i said look we've done everything that you've raised we've we've, we've tried to provide a good service to you but as you said Emma, if this is not enough for you i actually said look maybe from next week we can end this reservation and we can you could probably find somewhere else and then from then on and actually, I even suggested, look, I said, if, if the conversation is not very helpful, I can actually come and see you at the property. Um, and not, I think that's that's also another psychological thing, like, right? So, um, not that I was, <laughs> was going to do anything, just to see face to face, to see what the problems, what the problems are and, you know, a better face to face communication. And then you just, it's just switched 360 degrees and you said, no, it's okay. We, you know, we're very happy. And then at the end, the review wasn't actually that bad as well. I think he gave you, didn't he give you a seven? Was it a seven he gave you? Yeah, year? so yeah, so it's a, a three out of five on Airbnb, but also the comment itself was quite good. So it wasn't yeah. like, um, it's also about preempting these things, right? So you kind of have that communication with the guests. Uh, but yeah, that was an interesting experience. Yeah, so yeah, it's, and it's, it's lovely to see that because also, you know, I've, I've had, you know, people take the mickey before they've come in and they've said, oh, this place is disgusting. It's filthy. It's and it's like, well, I walked out of there half an hour ago and it certainly wasn't filthy and disgusting. Oh, and it stinks, they say. And quite often you you do have to kind of turn it back on them. And I will say, well, I'm so sorry if if, if my standards aren't high enough for you. I'm more than happy for you to I'll give you a, a, a refund right now for today and you can go away. And then they're a bit like, oh, oh, no. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> and some people just, you know, there are people that take the mickey. There are lots who are absolutely lovely. You know, I had some um, some extended uh, contractors the last couple of weeks. And honestly, he couldn't have been nicer. You know, I'd call out, is everything OK? Oh, yes, love. It's absolutely lovely. We love it. Yeah. You know, all of this. And, uh, you know, so it's great.